This is Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm and today we're in the kitchen and we are making some seasoning salt. I know you can buy seasoning salt in the store for even at the dollar store for like a dollar. Um, um, I was raised, my family used Lowry seasoning salt on everything. Um, so um, I like seasoning salt on my eggs and my food, on all kinds of things. Um, years ago I thought there has to be a better way of making this. I mean, instead of buying it all the time, um, it just seemed like a cost that somehow I could eliminate. Also, when I started looking at the ingredients, it was a lot of salt. And I was thinking, you know, probably the other ingredients would taste better than all that salt. So, how can I do this? And so I dissected the ingredients list. And this was back before we had the internet. So I couldn't really go online and look at what the company says. So I just had to really go by the label. Um, so, and usually you know that the first ingredient that is listed is the one that there's the most of. So I sort of played with the, um, you know, the, the amounts of things to find a, a seasoning salt that I felt still tasted the same and um, cut down a little bit on that, that salt and that sodium level. So I'm going to show you today an easy way to do this. I'm just going to focus the camera on the seasoning salt and the ingredients. don't necessarily think that seeing me is an important thing. It's seeing how to do what I'm teaching you how to do is the important thing. The thing you're going to want is either a shaker bottle. Um, in some of my other videos I've showed you how to make a pour spout out of the top on the salt. Um, I just used I have this. I don't. So here we go. This is seasoning salt. Um, I have a funnel. And here's what we're going to use. We have salt. Paprika. And I buy all my stuff at like the dollar store. I stock up about once a year. I'll buy 20 of each thing. Actually probably about twice a year. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Pepper. Just black, plain black pepper with um, six tablespoons of black pepper. And you can see I'm using on my pepper. I have one of my four spout. Six tablespoons of paprika. We like paprika, so I usually do the six. To do two or three teaspoons of garlic powder. We also like garlic. I would rather use more teaspoons of one of these other things and replace um, re replace a, a, a tablespoon of salt with something else, if given, the, given the choice. Then we need onion powder. I usually just do one or two tablespoons of the onion powder. Um, so, uh, I'm going to start out with six tablespoons of salt. That might be all that fills up my, ca my container here. I save the salt for very last. That way if I don't have room in my container, I just have less salt. Okay. Um, you want to put a baggie or I just hold a, a dish towel on top of it. And you're just going to shake it. You want to just get it really mixed. You don't want, you know, you don't want to be able to see a separation or you're not making sand art or anything. You want it all mixed up. The reason why you put the, some of the stuff will come out your holes, the top. Okay, and so here we have the seasoning salt. All done. My lid. Different than what you're paying for in the store? Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Um, sometimes it's not about cost. Sometimes it's about quality. Um, sometimes it's about just plain being able to do it yourself. And that's why I do a lot of things. If I can make seasoning salt myself at home, why buy it at the store? Um, it's just one more dollar, even if I buy it at the dollar store for a little, you, at the dollar store you're going to get these little two ounce, three ounce things. Um, that's a dollar that can go to something else that, for my family that um, doesn't have to go to buying seasoning salt. Um, so you save where you can 
um, make what you can yourself so you don't have to always be going to the store and funneling money somewhere else. Um, if I can do it myself, I'm going to do it myself um, because that's what the kind of life that I want to live. I want to be as self-reliant as possible. So seasoning salt, an easy thing to make at home, um, an easy thing that you can always have on hand as long as you have your garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, black pepper, and salt. That's it. So I hope you um, enjoyed this recipe and I hope you'll have fun tweaking it to meet your family's um, taste and um, happy seasoning. Thank you for joining us at Canterbury Trails Farm and I hope you'll like this and subscribe.